Hello guys, this is Nildo and today we're going to learn how to use uh, Unreal Engine 5 and create an animation blueprint to be able to drive morph targets values by bone rotations. This is very useful to, to add, uh, you know, fine-tuned deformations to your characters. So yeah, let's dive in. What we have to do is we have to pick a folder and then we create an animation blueprint like this let's give it uh, sorry before we give it a name we just uh, select the skeleton that we want to create the blueprint for so create and then now we can give it a name so I'll just do create core morph as in corrective morphs I'll open this up and what we have here we have this output pose so we need to set this up as the following, we need an input pose, input sorry, pose, and then we also need a bone-driven controller for this to work. Okay, we can we connect this to this. It will create a local to component node. I I'm not at all familiar with animation blueprints, so I cannot really explain what these. Uh, what these nodes are actually doing except for this one. So this one will be the guy that's responsible to actually uh, take the values of the bone and then control the morph targets that we set it up to control. So what we have to do now is that we take the source bone. So in this exercise we are going to try and map this this lower arm rotation. Okay. This lower arm rotation, let me just open the character. Uh, we go to the skeleton. Then if we go here, this is the lower arm. Just let me go. So what we have to do is control this guy here. In this case, because we are rotating this, you see, like this. And the corrective bone, uh, the corrective morph, sorry, that I've set up in Blender, I did it specifically to reach the ma its maximum value <clears throat> at an angle of about 125. So that's what we're gonna do. Back in the corrective morphs, back in the animation blueprint, sorry, we're gonna select this guy, we're gonna tell the source bone, which is the lower arm, left in this case, and then we're gonna tell it to read the rotations on the Z axis. With this done, we're just going to re do remap source. So we have, we have source range and map range. Here we put 0 and here we put 125 because I wanted to start from 0 rotation and go all the way to 125. Then once this is done, all, all that we need to do now is for the destination bone, we don't choose mode, sorry, we don't choose bone, we do choose morph target. And here, we're gonna go and look for the uh, name of the corrector, corrective morph that I have. So, in my case, I've named it like this, corrective upper arm, uh, no, 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 it's like this, corrective lower arm left, minus 25. This is the indication of the degree. So I right click, copy names, go to the corrective morphs, paste. And all we have to do now is connect this to this. Just let me configure this and then we'll just compile it. We'll just save. After this setup is done, uh, what we have to do is tell Unreal what will the animation blueprint be controlling this deformation. So we have to go here, go post, in post process and a blueprint, we just, choose, we just choose the corrective morphs. Everything seems to be okay. So you see, you see here, you see this value increasing. So what's happening now is we'll tell, we're basically telling Unreal to map these, these, uh, these values from 0 to 125 to basically 1, uh, for, to, to basically 0 to 1. And that's what these values are. If we want to activate this, this uh, corrective morph, in a, in a different time other than the zero uh, degrees, what we have to do is basically tell it, okay, map the angle, 
in this case I'm going to put it 90, 90 degrees as if it was or as if it were zero all right after that's done just compile compile save and then we'll test it again so this should be working as you see you see there you see here as soon as the the the, 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 the arm reaches 90 degrees it will start to change that morph target automatically okay so what's left to do is basically repeat this process what we're just going to do is copy paste and uh, repeat this process over and over again in this case I'll just uh, do this and then this see and this would be the other controller that we could use to map some other bone we just have to change the bone that needs to be taken care of uh, the rotation the, the proper rotation you can check the rotation under the skeleton I mean you check you can check the axis of the, the rotation axis here so X Z and Y or X Y Z and yeah that's basically it it should it should uh, oh, and don't forget also to change the name of the of the corrective morph that you want to change for this new uh, controller right so we have this one we have this one I'm not gonna set it up right now because it's, it's just basically repeating yeah thanks guys I hope this is helpful I sure had a lot of trouble finding the a tutorial online on the on this I did find one from one on YouTube that showed basically a DAS model already rigged, already uh, configured to use a animation blueprint, and it was hard for me to follow, but eventually I did it. So I hope this helps you. Bye bye.